And to put this into place here, um, what you have to do is you first have to bring up the corresponding row, like this. We bring up that space, and then we turn this row around 180 degrees so that it matches up with this row of black pieces. See? And then you just bring it back down. I'll do show you some more examples so it makes sense. Um, I suppose I could start working on this. Uh, I need a center edge piece, inner center edge piece. I could also use this one. I'm just going to turn this and turn and join. But in the process of joining, we've messed up this, so we have to turn it to the side and turn this out. Okay, so now we need some more pieces. We need a wing. So I'll use this wing piece right here. We'll join this together, turn this out of the way, and then turn this back so we fix what was here before. And we just need this piece right here. So that piece is, oh, that one's a little tricky. So I'll try bringing it to the top first. So now it's on top, right here. And I just have to align this and then bring this into the little slot of our now completed row. Get that out of the way. Put the black back. No rhyming intended. Now we need to find the corresponding inner wing edge piece to go right there. And it's right here. See, this is an inner wing edge piece. So we align this row. We join the wing edge piece with the row. And now this one's a little tricky because it's on the side, but all you have to do is basically align this empty space and then join the two together like that and bring it back down. So now I have three rows completed with the three corresponding edge pieces and we only have these outer rows to do left. So um, just to make things easy, I'm going to move this little bit up here so I can show you an example of a normal thing again. Here's three pieces. Oh, that's useless. I'm going to move this piece down and turn this around and move it back up into the row. And we just need another corner piece like that. And this one's a little tricky. So we're going to have to bring this up, and then let's see here, down, over, up, over, down. Okay, well I just sort of maneuvered it into place there. You'll find your own little tricks. Um, this edge piece, this outer, uh, outer wing edge piece, needs to go here. So I'll move it down first, then I'll move this into alignment so we can join the two pieces. Like that. And then to put this here, we need to make sure it's facing backwards like that. We need to bring this empty row up. Then put the row into alignment like that by turning the top 180 degrees. Then you move it down. Okay. So now I see these two are aligned. I'm just going to bring them up so we can start assembling the other pieces next to it. Um, I'm going to align this row with this center wing piece, like that. So now we have three in the row. Now I'm going to align this outer center edge piece, so I can put it right here. Like that, and four. And lastly, I just have to align this outer center corner piece, so I can put it right here. Oop. There we go. So now we have our row of centers, and we have to tack on our little center edge piece. I mean, no, our wing, outer wing edge piece, which is right here. So we have to align the two components. So we have our centers here wing edge piece here, 
we put them into their row. Now they're facing away from our center, backwards. We bring the empty row up. We put the black center together with our row and put it back down. So now this is what your cube should look like now. You should have two completed centers and you should also have these five edge pieces solved. Now from here your goal to be to solve either this uh, this row of pieces here or this row here. Um, and that means combining five edge pieces and tacking on a corner at the end. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to just do the red and green pieces. So what you want to do is you want to align all of the components, or at least as many as you can. So I see I have two matched up already here. And um, if I put this piece here, then I'll be able to combine it with these here just by turning it down like that. But we're not going to do that yet. We were going to try to align as many as possible in one go. Um, so now you find some more. Here's one here. So um, if I put this piece in the back here, like that, then when I turn this all the way around, it'll match up with these. So you just got to make sure that when you turn the center slices that the edge pieces will match. And uh, lastly, I already have one here. So if I turn this around, that will match up, which is good. So now we have four edge pieces, or I mean, yeah, I guess. There's five, I suppose, but they occupy these four spaces. So now we just have to um, join them all up. And we'll mess up some stuff in the process, but it'll get fixed. So we've matched up our five pieces. Now we uh, move it to the other side temporarily. Then we turn this space back to align everything up again. And we match everything up. There we go. So now we still have what we solved before. And we also have our new component right here. And we simply have to find the corner that goes on the uh, side of this edge piece, edge conglomerate. And we join these two up like that. Okay. And then all you have to do is you have to uh, put this uh, edge corner column kind of thing right here. Okay. So this is what it should look like. Um, after you've done that. Okay, so after um, you solve this part and this part here, you're going to solve um, all the centers on an adjacent face to this edge and the um, included edges with the black center. Um, and this is done much the same way, except you also have to be careful not to destroy this and this uh, uh, in the process. And just as a technicality note, um, the center center row, um, when you're building it, you should leave this center piece right here and just build everything except for that center in your row. So I have this edge piece, this outer center edge piece, this inner center edge piece, no center here, and these pieces here. And then once you're done doing all of that, you should put this um, piece horizontal so you can uh, put the green center here and then once you've put that up leave this black part up and uh, align this row that you've built so that the black joins with black and put it all down and that's how you do the center rows next you form another row with edge pieces and a corner on the bottom just like you did before you um, put the uh, little bits and pieces in the parallel rows um, these parallel spaces and then you just turn the center slices to match them up then move them out of the way and turn those center slices back okay so the last part you want to directly solve is this bit right here